Hello friends, and welcome back to our homestead. So today, we're going to be talking about what not to do when you buy goats. So what you should not do when you buy goats is buy them before you have a place to put them. Which is exactly what I did. So, we have this stuff essentially to create a place for them. But, it's not up yet. And they come in two days. We have probably about 48 hours, maybe a little less, to make a place for three goats. Um, yeah, so I am loading up the truck. We had this gate um, from when we lived in South Carolina. We were going to fence in the yard for the dogs. Um, it never got done, then we decided to move, so it came with us, and we had a bunch of T-posts. And then, let me show you over here. So the previous owners had this fenced in. Um, it would have cut through where the garden is, and it goes all the way down. Well, they just left it, the fencing rolled up right here, and there is fencing along this side. So we're gonna take this now 100 foot or so of fencing and cut it through right here. So he's bush hogging with a chainsaw because the creek is right there, and we can't get our bush hog back there. So yeah, it's crunch time. But I found the goats at um, our local like, flea market, jockey lot type deal. Um, and they were decent price. There was a mama and her baby, and she's in milk. And he's still nursing. And then there was another little doling who is right around about to come in heat. So, couldn't pass it up. Um, he is even going to deliver them for us, and he's going to deliver them, like I said, in two days so that we actually have time to get a place for them ready. Um, it is not currently raining right now, but it's been sprinkling off and on, hence the get up here. Um, but yeah, it's crunch time. We're working our butt off. All right, today's day two of getting ready for goats. Um, we cleared the fence line yesterday and then it started downpouring. So today, Chris and a helper are working on getting the T post in, um, the gate up, and the fence up. And I'm working on a shelter and a milk stand because, like I said, the nanny is in milk so I get to jump into goats and jump into milking right away which I'm actually really excited about that long wait of getting goats and having to wait um, you know we did that with the rabbits I got them young and then we had to wait for them to mature and honestly I really wish that I had gotten like a proven doe who could have jumped into having kids already so um, I'm really glad that I've got a proven goat so let's get this stand built all right so we got the fence up. Um, well, I should say Christopher and <laughs> the help he had today got the fence up. Um, it's not perfect, but it'll do. It's not the tightest. We don't have a um, fence stretcher, um, but he said there was a trick um, where you take a stick on some of these really loose parts, um, especially right here across the creek. Um, you take a stick and you put it through and you twist it and then you use wire to tie it off. Um, so yeah, we, and we made it all the way to that with a little bit dis, oh, and we made it all the way up to that post right there with a little bit extra despair. So that makes me happy. And they've got all this area that's cleared that he had brush hog the other day. And we can't brush hog any closer to the creek. Um, so this is, oh gosh, this is not the creek, but as you can see, it's muddy. Now granted, it did rain yesterday, but this is what happens every time it rains, like, this is a good real mud. Um, I don't know, at least 30 foot span that's just muddy. Um, so yeah, and I know goats don't like to get muddy, so we'll see if they even clear any of this for us. I'm hoping they will. Um, and we will eventually put in a little bridge so that they can get to the top part um, of the pasture, but now they have all of this, and it's just three of them. Um, and this is probably about 100 foot long by, oh, I don't know, maybe 30 foot wide, maybe wider. Haven't actually measured it. It's probably wider. I'm terrible with distance. Um, but I know from measuring the property out that this is 
that's about 100 foot or longer. Um, so that's a decent size. We've got the pallets right here still. I've got to get our trash can out. It was in the back of the truck. Um, and I threw it off so that I could go up there and get all the T-posts um, and the wooden posts. So I've got to get that out of there. Got to get that built. They um, use some string to help get this somewhat straight. It's not perfect. Um, it's pretty close. And then uh, the last thing we need to do is get some hardware to close the gate. This um, isn't straight. Uh, my husband is not a perfectionist <laughs> um, and or a builder, so... Nothing is, nothing is perfect, but that's all right. Um, it's definitely cockeyed. As you can see, this is pretty straight because um, the previous owners put that in. And then we have our gate, and so there's a smaller gap down the bottom, and then it gets bigger. Um, but like I said, I'm going to get some gate hardware, like latches and stuff. So I'm hoping that'll close it up enough that no gates will escape. Um, because goat fence, compost pile, garden. So, of course, that would be the first place they go is my garden um yeah then it's done and ready for the goaties well here they are our goaties meet rudy trudy miss gertrude her son bruce and miss winifred these two are not related so our plan is to breed these two and we're going to get another um, weather to keep with him in a separate pen so he doesn't breed mama who is currently stuck a hundred times a day I swear but we've got our little milk stand and just a couple little shelters we're going to get some more toys and stuff for them and yeah these are our goats <laughs> this little guy's finally let me pet him. Are you stuck here? Goofy goats. So even though everything worked out in the end, this is probably what you should not do when getting goats. <laughs> getting them before you're 100% prepared. We did have to uh, rush around on Father's Day weekend to get this fence up. And um, I had to go to the store and get feed and stuff for them the day they were delivered. Um, but they've got all their basic needs met, and we are working on some toys and other neural stimulation for them. So, yeah, they're going to have a good life here, and we're definitely excited. All right, guys, so thanks for coming along with me as we got ready for our goats and got our, got our goaties. We're super excited to have this addition on the homestead. Oh, good job. Good job, girl. All right, guys. I hope you have a great day. Bye.